The Phylogeography of Afro-Americans and Africans by Dr. Clyde Winters. Dr. Winters is an educator, anthropologist, and linguist. His papers on population genetics have appeared in BioEssay, the Indian Journal of Human Genetics, Science Magazine, and the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, to a name a few publications. In the final geography of Afro-Americans and Africans, I discuss and explore the genetic ancestry of African and Afro-Americans. You may, upon reading or hearing this, say, why am I differentiating between Afro-Americans and Africans? The answer is simple. Afro-Americans are not just the descendants of African slaves. Their ancestors also include black Native Americans and black Europeans who came to America from Europe as indentured slaves and freemen. It makes it clear that Africans are not a monolithic group and that the very genetic haplogroups carried by Africans result from the fact that at different times in history, beginning with the Australian type, up to contemporary sub-Saharan Africans, different populations have arisen at different times over the past 200,000 years in Africa. As a result, we could consider the Australians, Khoisan, Pygmies, and contemporary sub-Saharan Africans different populations or subsets of the Negro or Black race. The final geography of Afro-Americans and Africans provides a short introduction to African and Afro-American population genetics. It begins with a chapter on the status of paleogeographical research in Africa. The book discusses the demographic history of Africans and Afro-Americans. It makes it clear that Afro-Americans can be defined as the dark pigmented yellow to copper colored people in the United States whose ancestors were black Native Americans black Europeans, and sub-Saharan Africans taken to the United States during the transatlantic slave trade. The diverse origins of Afro-American populations make the AA population heterogeneous indigenous people of the United States. Due to the black Native American origins of Afro-American people, they can be considered an indigenous American population who vary phenotypically. The final geography of Afro-Americans and Africans details a long history of contact between blacks, Europeans, and Native Americans. Genetic admixture studies make it appear that Afro-Americans only carry mtDNA of the L macrohaplogroups, and the Y chromosomes carried by Africans are supposed to only include haplogroups A, B, and E, and that any other haplogroups carried by Africans are the result of a back migration of Europeans or Asians into Sub-Saharan Africa. In the final geography of Afro-Americans and Africans, we show that the back migration theory is false, and that the haplogroups L3, MN, and Y chromosome R originate in Africa thousands of years before anatomically modern humans exited out of Africa and migrated into Americas and Eurasia beginning around 100,000 years ago. The Final Geography of Afro-Americans and Africans is a fine book, a book that every person interested in the genetic history of Afro-Americans and Africans should own. <laughs>